good everyone in this video i will be showing you how you can add and format text box now before starting if you're not familiar with the whole interface of google sites if you're a beginner or even if you're a first timer in using the software do not worry because i got you covered as i will be here to guide you and show you the step-by-step -step process on how to do this thing now if you're interested in watching we actually have a dedicated video that covers all the basic features and functions of this software so you might want to check it out on our YouTube channel. Now just to give us a bit of a background, Google Sites is a free web-based uh, software that is used to create websites and is ideal for both professional and personal use. Again, just like what I've mentioned, this is free and this is web-based. So you do not need to download anything nor pay for anything. You can just access it via your web browser. Now if you do not know how to create a new Google Sites file, we already have a dedicated video for that tutorial, so you might want to check it out on our dedicated playlist that compiles all the Google Sites tutorial on our YouTube channel. Now again, just like what I've said in this video, I'm going to teach you how you can easily add and form a text box here in Google Sites just like this. Now, the first thing that I want you to remember is that when adding anything into your Google Sites such as content blocks, you want to focus on the right sidebar of your screen. Do not get yourself confused. You do not need to right click anything on the page. You just need to focus on the right sidebar of your screen. Now, as you can see right here, we got tons of options to choose from. You got YouTube, Spacer, Dividers. But in this video, we are going to focus on text box. To add a text box, you do not need to do anything else. All you have to do is to click on the word text box right here, and it automatically adds your text box for you. Now, let's type a sample text right over here now as you can see it looks a bit plain it's it looks a bit boring to look at and we do not know where this is going now to format your text box uh, the first thing that I would like to show you is how you can rearrange your text box now for instance let's say for example I want this sample text box to be above this text box that I've inserted earlier one way that you can do that is by heading over to this left side of your text box in which you can see multiple dots. Hover your mouse on it until your cursor changes into some sort of cross arrow. Click on it and drag it above the, this text box so that as you can see we can rearrange it as we wish. Now the next thing I would like to show you is the font formatting that you can do in text box. You got the pretty simple and standard text font formatting that is available in other Google softwares. So the first thing that you would like to do as always is to highlight the text that you would like to change its font formatting of by clicking on it and dragging like so. And now as you can see right here you got the styling in which pretty much just changes the uh, styling of your text such as uh, changing it to bold, resizing it, and so on and so forth. Now in my case it's set to normal text which is the one that is set by default. Now to change the font all you have to do is to click on this one right over here. Now the default font depends on the theme that you have chosen which in my case is Open Sans. Let's say for example I want to change it I would click on it and select the font that I would like which is this one. And now I want to place it at the center of my screen so what I would do is click on this button right here which is the align button and click on the center. You also got right if you want and you got justify if you want it as well. But in my case, I would like to put it at the center. So I would click this one. Now this text looks a bit small. So all I have to do is click on the font size right over here. And as you can notice, we do not have the typical plus icon and minus icon to increase or decrease the font size by one point. So you might want to set your own, uh, your own font size or click on the options down below like so. And as you can see, as simple as that, we can actually change the font size of the text inside our text box. You got the standard bold, italic, and underline right here. And you can change its font color from here. Like so. Now, as you can see, it is not very appealing because right now, there is no contrast within this text box and this text box. So, I would like to do is to put a color behind this text box that we have just inserted now to change that all you have to do is to click on the palette icon right over here and then choose the style 3 which will put a color inside 
your text box like so. Now you can also change it to style too, which will just uh, adjust the color of the text box to match or to match with the background. You can put your own image if you wish, like so. But in my case, I would like to go with style three just so that it has some sort of contrast between the heading and this text box right over here. As simple as that, you can add and format your text box here in Google Sites. Now, if you did learn something in this video, please consider subscribing, dropping a like, and hitting that notification bell, as well as leaving a comment down below in which you would like to see from us next. I'll take it from here, guys. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.